in this match and in the tournament. As Team Hammond will attempt to grab a cube with their roller intake, moving, it, moving over to score on the Blue Alliance grid. If we take a look, we're currently seeing the Red Alliance, all three robots currently hanging out over on their side of the field in the community, 3865 venturing out, having some contention with Red Pride Robotics for a moment. Unfortunately, it does look like they disconnect. Our FTAs will be working with them to find a solution and get them back up and playing. Red Pride Robotics, on the other hand, will go over into their human station, taking instructions from their human player in order to grab a cone with much coordination needed. 39-36 Robo Blitz and their robot Cthulhu's Revenge wasting no time in successfully securing another cone onto their high grid. We currently have a relatively exciting match, 59-21 in favor of the blue of the Blue Alliance, one out of five necessary links as they would need to collect an extra ranking point. Penn Robotics on their home field, it's home cooking as they successfully score yet another cube onto their high circuit. Take a look at 3487, Red Pride Robotics, they've come up in the conversation a lot here as they score yet another cone and complete a link for the Blue Alliance, making that two for them on the match. We have a successful double engage on the Blue Alliance. Unfortunately, we do have a red robot. It looks to be 2867. The Elk Logics fell down, sadly. We have five seconds left. Let's hope they can come up with an improv act, and it is not good news for the Red Alliance at the moment as they are not able to get the engage they so desperately needed. Let's take a look at our scores for this thriller of a match. It's the Blue Alliance. Winning 92 to 33, picking up three successful ranking points and 71, moving into the highly coveted number eight position.